Hey, uh, it's Randy. Um, today I was going to answer a question I've been getting a couple of emails about, and it's why do I do old familiar faces weeks? Um, for those who don't know, old familiar faces is a week I do at the beginning of every uh, comic year. Um, yes, I say um a lot, and I'm beginning to notice it. When the comic ends, usually, or every year when it ends around December 19th to 20th, uh, I will take a little bit of a break, and when I come back, I will do a week of old familiar faces, where I basically pull out old characters who haven't been seen in a while, maybe they're, they were former supporting cast or minor characters, <clears throat> and I uh, just kind of show you where they're at now. I usually only focus on the living. I've done, I think, two strips about characters who are dead. Actually, no, three, because uh, one of the characters was reincarnated. Um, one's in, another character I showed in heaven, another one I showed in hell. Uh, and um, the main reason I do it, uh, well, when I first started doing it, I just thought, well, this would be kind of fun. The first year, there were a couple of characters who I liked, and, but they weren't going to be ongoing cast members. And I just wanted to show what they do when the other cat, when the the main cast isn't around for them to, inter to interact with. And after that, I, I began to think about it, how there are a lot of comics I enjoyed as a kid. That when I would go back and read old books compilation, I'd see these characters I've never heard of. Like if you read really old Peanuts strips, and there's a character named Shermie, or Violet. Or a different Patty than Peppermint Patty, or Garfield had Lyman. Doonesbury had the uh, Vietnamese soldier that uh, the main character got to know when he's in Vietnam, whom they brought back, what, 20, 30 years later, I think, and he was helping run a Nike plant. But usually there's, char there's characters that just kind of fade away, and I, I had such a large cast to begin with, I knew I wasn't able to keep all of them, and some characters just... You can write for a little while, but they stop speaking to you, and you just don't have to do with them anymore. And I didn't want them to just vanish completely, and... So I decided to start using uh, Old Familiar Faces as an ongoing thing that makes it, like, the first storyline of the comic year is, by the way, here's characters you haven't seen in forever, here's what they're doing. So you've got a general idea if they're okay, if their life is going well, if things could be better for them. Uh, a couple times I think I've used it as, you know, jumping points for stories, but usually it's just a snapshot of what's going on with someone. And, you know, there's certain characters who turn up a lot like Jim, and it turns out Jim is doing very well now that he's not really associated too much with the core cast. Although a lot of the strips insinuate he is, he just doesn't take part of their, their crazy crap. Um, and jo uh, Davin's old boss, Copper Top, has now appeared uh, three times, I think, in the... It's interesting because it is probably one of the most popular things I do uh, for the comic. Like, for the more faithful readers, I guess. Um, I get emails all throughout the year about... Hey, I know that it's months away, but could, for the next All Familiar Faces, will you consider bringing this character back? It is nice. I mean, it's nice to do. It's nice to show that these characters didn't just stop existing when they weren't in the main side of the core cast, that they did have lives beyond them. And at the same time, it's kind of sad, because there's certain characters I always... I'll draw them in a, an old familiar face, a strip, and I'll think about, well, gee, I wish I kept them around a little longer because it would have been fun to have this story aligned. But I guess that's a lot of the whole wistful thinking, what you've done something for. Oh, man, it'll be nine years. This is the ninth, ninth year, so I just passed your eight. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I do it. It's basically just something to pee people happy and let you peek in on someone you used to know.